This guy shouldn't be an owner. He's a moron. He doesn't care. But life, life is, life is just more or less common sense. Well, you know, no, I mean. Yes. Oh, okay. The thing I always say: the vast majority of people don't get it or have a clue whatsoever, do they? The vast majority of people in the general public don't do have not any clue do not ha do not have any clue whatsoever, and they just don't get it. Do they? Do they? Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, true, yeah, it's a green. That's probably why they're so damn gullible with every stupid thing they hear. Let me ask you. Here you go. Man God. I mean, that's man, man God blue eyes. The vast majority of people just don't get it, do they? Right into a big no. My dad was right, wasn't he? You can't get through to people, can you? Look at that, by the way. See? Where's your girlfriend today? You mean, you mean the one that is inferior to a blow-up doll? She loves you, remember? She, 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 she can't match a blow-up doll. She loves you, though. She, yeah, uh, uh, nausea? No, no, no. Nausea? Yeah, she 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 stimulates our, nausea. Our friend and or acquaintance from here at McDonald's, Eileen, is is very unattractive. Does she love Jimmy? <laughs> the amulet can say anything it wants. You don't know what she feels. I, I don't, but I don't, I don't really does, care. Does she, well, I didn't say you did. Yeah, okay. Which, does she love Jimmy? Oh, okay. Does she love me? Horshack. Thank God. She's Horsh all yours, buddy. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. right. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> The average, hold on, the average humanoid out there, the average mainstream American today, are they more or less like lemmings, very easily influenced? Well, that's obvious. Yeah, look, look, that's how, Do that's how Donald Trump got elected. Well, actually, got elected because sixty-three percent didn't bother to vote. Now, this November, two thousand eighteen, this November, will there be a a landslide turnout in the voting this November's election? Oh yeah, it was now narrow down. Will the bigger turnout be Democratic voters? Then you say, will the will the will this huge turnout for yeah. for this November 2018 would it, would it be in the favor of the Democrat voters or not or, favor? A bigger turnout. Would it be a bigger turnout for the Democrat or, or progressive voter? Yes. So what you're trying to tell me is that. Many Republicans will lose their seats this November? Oh, th thank, thank heavens for that. Oh my God. Mm. Will, in the near future, will there be even more dirt exposed about Donald Trump? investigation uh, this thing with Scott Truitt this moron yes now <clears throat> I saw a banner where it says as a, as a photo of Vladimir Putin and it says uh, <laughs> um, something about like I if it wasn't for me in other words I, I have a puppet in Washington more or less I have a puppet I pu I, I um, 
You know what they should show. I placed the puppet in Washington. They should show Putin sitting on a chair with a little Trump doll as a ventriloquist and a little string hanging up. So Trump, a little Trump doll on his knee. Did you, did you think about that? Did you know there are some hilarious? Meaning, meaning you're my, you're my dummy. There you're are, my dummy. there are some really hilarious Donald Trump dolls that are out already. Oh yeah. Some of them naked. Wait, can you be something like that? Sitting on his Putin's lap. <laughs> sitting, no, it's a cartoon, so he can't move it. But just to show that he's a, a puppet. He's a dummy. He's a dummy. I think he's, he's Putin's puppet. That's what I just said. Yeah. Well, it, it rhymes when you say Putin's puppet. Oh, here, Putin's an asshole. He's a murderer. A whole bit. Yeah, Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong He's another asshole. Assad, Duterte, and Erdogan. Those five should all be together at the Where's our buddy Joe's? Oh, gee. <clears throat> Is Trump being a, a complete idiot? Wait, wait, wait. Make sure it's not oh, okay. Okay. Is Trump being a complete? Well, I want to make sure. I want to. Is is Trump being a complete idiot by offending the entire European U Union? Easy yes. And 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 at the same time. Is he also being a total idiot by building up and praising the dictators that we just mentioned? No answer, really. Well, well, it's not yeah. Some sometimes it has to think over things. No, not really. They usually go right and break it. Okay. I got something interesting. I noticed that there are people that have a lot of honest things to say in private, but publicly they have, they would not dare give their opinion. Are these spineless sycophants? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I, I know one guy. He has a lot to say in private, but he'll, he'll, he'll totally trash somebody privately. That he, you know, knows, and then be publicly, he'll say, "Oh, what a wonderful guy! I, I, I miss him so much." It, the, the, there was a trainer, a famous trainer from New Jersey, I think, or New York, named Vince Guy Ronda, who's deceased. Bodybuilder, uh, bodybuilding training trainer, like Joe Weider. Uh, he relocated L.A. area, but Vince Guy Ronda was a real asshole. Like, in other words. You could ask Vince Guy Ronda only one question. As soon as you say, you ask him a second question, he yells at you in public. Why? He berates you. He's just, he's like, I guess he's like Trump. He's just like an arrogant yeah. prick. Was Vince Guy Ronda? Was, was, was Vince Guy Ronda in reality a total douchebag, asshole, jerk off? Yeah. Yes. There you go. Right into a yes. Yeah, and, and you know what? It's not just one individual he yelled at. He yells at everybody. He yelled at everybody. But he became like an icon in bodybuilding. I've never heard of him. I've heard most of them. I've never heard of Well, he's the one that popularized the the flies, the dumbbell flies. You know how many you know how many people in fitness take credit for things? I mean, like Joe Weider was never the master blaster. You know who trained him? Bob Hoffman, York Barbell Company. Out of my, my old town, where I live, York. And 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 York Barbell used to be. You know, I read it. Let me just ask it. I mean, the York Barbell Company originally made furnaces for homes. Is that true? Yeah, which is which is amazing how they made the switch. Actually, Frank Perdue. Frank Perdue made the switch in, from Maryland. Uh, he originally had egg-laying hens, his family. Well, they from Maryland? 
God, everywhere I've, I've lived is where all the famous people are. Yeah, no, the, pro the producer from Maryland. Think about it. Maryland, <clears throat> where? Baltimore? The, no, no, no. They had, a, of course, they had a big farm. But, but I'm born in Baltimore. Yeah. Well, my it lived in York. My aunt and uncle are from Baltimore. Lived in York. Severna. You ever hear of a town called Severna Park? Anne Arundel County. It's right outside it, Glen Burnie. Well, these are suburbs of Baltimore. Yeah, Route Route Two, the Ritchie Highway, I think it was called. Um, I spent many a youth uh, fishing and crabbing on the Chesapeake well, Bay. Was, my, my friend, when I went down there with with a Gary to see his uncle, he supposedly had the fastest speedboat on the Chesapeake Bay area. He took us out on that damn thing, man. Were we? Flying. I bet. I bet he went to showed you Annapolis on that boat. And no, no, the Jimmy, Bay Bridge. No, Jimmy and I went to Annapolis by car. Yeah. But his uncle had us out yeah. way out there. We were skimming. Well, you, you've heard of Chesapeake Bay Bridge connecting East Eastern Shore to Western Shore. Now, there's a town on the Eastern Shore called St. Michael's. It's a, it's a famous seaport. They have the, the, the biggest crab fish, uh, commercial oh, crabbers. Well, they, that whole Maryland, Chesapeake Tillman Island. area. Phillips is a famous restaurant chain. Tillman Island. Oh, Phillips is originally. They're out of they're, Maryland. Oh, I thought they were from like the uh, Carolinas no, or Virginia. No, they're Maryland. No, you can buy them in the grocery stores. So frozen Phillips, this and that. And crab cakes, I bet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people don't realize a real Maryland crab cake has no breadcrumbs in it. It's it's like pure crab meat That's with right. seasoning. One of the greatest former 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 head coaches for the Colts when they were in Baltimore was uh, Don Shula. He's got one of the greatest steakhouses in the world. Really. His chain is phenomenal. Don Shula Steakhouse. Don, Don Shula also... Yeah, is Don Shula Steakhouse chain one of the best in the world? Is coach, former football, NFL football coach, legend Don Shula, is his chain of steakhouses rated as one of the best Rated in the world? as one of the finest in the world? Yes, I bet you he has a good swing. Though. You get a back and forth more or less. I, I no, it's going now. I bet he has the aged black Angus steak set. Well, no, I, I, he's got everything, but they say it's absolutely phenomenal. He, Let me try it. He was also with the uh, with the uh, the Miami Dolphins right. when they won. Won, you know, with Larry Zonka. It's Don Shula's friend, famous steakhouse chain, one of the greatest and highest ranked in the world. There you go, Jimmy. See? Well, mine sw went yeah, clockwise. It goes back and forth a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, you Something got that. Up. You got that Anunnaki energy in you. Something. Yeah. So. Anunnaki or Anunnaki? No, Anunnaki. Anunnaki. Yeah. I I I just don't don't about You never know. Never know. Now supposedly it's going to get much drier and cooler about a weekend. Well, it's going to rain heavy tomorrow. We'll see. Let's hope. Oh, good. I don't. Nobody feels good. I had my uh, my treatment today at the hospital, so I'm done for three more weeks. I guess. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, so you got a three three week break from that? Well, it's only once once one day. Then the next one will be in three weeks. Yeah. I feel bad, like... No my, more chemo, my, no more chemo. Oh, go. God, heaven, heaven forbid. So what happened to your mom last week? Well, yesterday was her birthday. We have her birthday. No, 86. We have the birthday, small get-together. Just me, my sister, my mother. She didn't even... She acted like she didn't even care, but then again, she's getting up in years, you know. So, everybody leaves that night she got so yesterday. yesterday she got so weak she had trouble getting up out of bed trouble walking trouble with the with the with the walker i had to help her to the bathroom then oh, no. Did she, call out your name? she called my name and she and she was struggling to get up so i helped her and and then when i would tell her okay ma you have to take your pants down and your um your um diaper and you have to sit on the toilet. And she was just standing there staring. Like Where, she was ahead or no, like at, at like me. She look at me and then she looked somewhere else and I said, What's the matter? You confused? She she looked confused. Finally, before I got her to sit on the toilet, she crapped all over the toilet seat, the poor thing, and the floor. 
2 a.m., about 2 a.m. I had to clean for what, a good hour, half hour? It took me, oh. it, it's a good I, It's a good thing I had Pine Saw, Mr. Clean, I had everything. But, did I really want to do that at 2 a.m.? I don't think so. So what well, I did with- you do that at any time. No. So what happened was, my That's sister, cool my sister cool. took the day off, and she says, that's it. She's still coughing. She's going to the hospital. Oh, she's in the hospital? No, no, no. The paramedics came. Oh, you did call them. And her nurse came. Everybody tested her, checked her out. She, they said there's nothing wrong with her vitals. She's fine. She's clear. Her blood pressure is good. Her oxygen is good. I go, well, why is she so weak? They said it might be the damn Xanax that she was prescribed to take. To, to calm her anxiety, Xanax, it, with uh, interaction. Now? My sister's over there now. You ever leave alone? Right? No, no. Well, she has a caregiver, but my sister told the caregiver not to come because she figured she was going into Hackensack Hospital. She didn't know the, pa the paramedics were going to say, your mom's not a candidate to go oh, into this. this was earlier today, too? This was today, yeah. I thought it was last night. Yeah, so they feel that it could be the Xanax, which is a... So what are you going to do, call the doctor? Well, she, her, her doctor or nurse practitioner, the other one, she has two of them. She's going to come tomorrow, going to test her out, and I'm going to say... If you, if you want to run a blood test, a special blood test for her, be my guest. Because they come to the house. Does it suck? Uh, watching them decline and watching oh, them... Right. Yes, yes. And, and, and I was all ready to watch a movie on Netflix at 2 a.m. You can't do anything. Or I was ready to go to sleep, actually. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. So what I did, Billy, what I did, Billy, I gave her some... Um, a flaxseed meal for extra fiber, extra fiber, because she was like, no, I'm going to follow oh. you. Yeah, because it, uh, it was, uh, I don't want to say it too loud. They say, okay, kiss the Blarney Stone. I said, people don't want to hear about you. you had five stitches and you did this and it, you go on. It's well, always problem. People that kiss the Blarney Stone are usually very long-winded. Well, who cares? It's just, oh, they go on. I've lost all patience. Cut to the chase. You cut to the chase. They had, um, I, I, I felt bad, but I was watching um, Anthony Bourdain reruns on CNN. And, and people, the vast majority are incredibly long winded, aren't they? There you go. Yeah, just like they're lemmings. Or they, they, they call them. Sh they call them sheeple too. People don't really know how to just simply communicate much anymore, do they? No. There you go. They, um, I tell them, I tell people, I try to teach them. And Anthony. Your point, you get, no, I've, I've not seen his show. Maybe. No, I'm saying he um, interviewed a rock group from Seattle, Washington. They had wrote a song about how Seattle become computer geek city. It's well, saturated sure. with geeks. Well, Microsoft, and that's Silicon they, Valley. Amazon. Uh, Silicon Valley's up there. Yeah, but they said they're very dull people. They all look the same. Yeah, all those do. corporate they geeks. All think the same. Yeah. yeah. Those people, I, and I've known them. You want to call? You can call them corporate people, company people. They go by the book, and that's it. The book. You know, if it's not in the book, they have Stephen Jobs said we fired the number of PhDs we hire. We usually fire within two weeks. They're good with the book, but outside they can't get along with others. Or maybe they're not creative enough. That's my point. Talk. And he said we fire most of them within two weeks. Yeah, just because you can memorize facts from a textbook. We'll get somebody else. That doesn't yeah. mean anything. You don't get along with your people. No. Right. You know, that's the whole thing. You know, creativity. Oh, there's kids here. Oh, it's like Slim Whitman, the Yodeling Cowboy. <laughs> He's just like some. Wow, he was good. Yes. 
that he's going to be only eight years old. Oh, for his age, yeah. Make it like football. You're in the huddle. The clock's ticking. You've only got 35 seconds. Go you play, get up in the huddle, get under side, get the play off. Make your point, get out. You think about that. Yeah, well, uh, a football play is like pro wrestling. It's like a sprint. A sprinter. Well, pro, pro wrestling is not a sprint. Well, that's not, those are like sprints, too, you know. Well, it's not a sport at all. Yeah, I know. Well, what was how many, how many pro football players, like I said, tried off our teams? Not one ever made. It. Yeah, they all didn't just get cut. They quit. They couldn't. Yeah. Have it. Yeah. Well, what what you said is is the play. But I still it, don't know to this day why you were, are so into this damn wrestling. I used to always because you, you get that. to you get to yell at the at the customer and, and make fun of them and say, hey you you, you your wife do? your wife let you out tonight, huh? What do you think uh, they do in football and baseball? You get to yell at people. What do you think they if, do in football If you're a heel, uh, they, they yell. Boxing. If you're in a slump, they yell, they boo you. They, they all do. So it's not just wrestling. <laughs> you see? Wrestling, I just... Well, I, New York fans are tough. I just... Well, they are not. They're no different than fans anywhere else. If you want to talk of the toughest, Philadelphia has the dirtiest. They're the one few stadiums that has an actual judge and a cell on site in the stadium. <laughs> So, really? I mean, really. You know, if you want New York fans are tough. In what way are New York fans tough? In what way? Well, well, maybe I should have said the New York press. The, New, the Name press. Name one press that isn't tough. They all rip their teams to shreds and praise you when you win. This New York press. And then when you lose, they want to they want to know why you lost. Does it every? The other so because the other team scored extra is there, points. Is there any other team, any other city that doesn't do the same thing? They score more points than we do. Isn't there? Is there any other city that doesn't do the same thing? I do not know. Your team fails. Your team wins. They do the same thing. Well, the, so there's nothing. I, different I know the Red the, the Red Sox, the Boston press uh, ticked off. Um, one of their star players and asked them, uh, why did you commit the error in the outfield? Uh, because it happens. You know, you know, like he said, like, oh, asked him, what happened? I'm talking to Bill Buckner. How did that ball, which was hit so soft, get under your hands? You could have handled a bare hand. It just happened. But you, you have to ask the question. If you don't, you're a bad journalist. You better ask all yeah. questions when things happen. You're dissecting right. the game. And then you deal with the, right. the coaches and the players. You can be smart ass answers. Yeah, I'm answers. sure even with the Triple Crown, they probably ask the, the owner and the jockey, well, what? What, why'd your horse. Special report. Oh, good. Finally, this morons about a, six, eight months too late. Pruitt's an asshole. He's resigned. Mm -hmm. Big surprise. <laughs> they had to. That's an idiot. Pruitt. Oh. No, but all the people, all the people don't think it's all the press. The city's press is the same. New York's not tough. Or they are tough. LA is not tough. Or they are tough. Yeah. They're all so, the so when you lose, they antagonize you. Well, what are they going to do? They've got to ask. You all see the cartoons. Hero, go, blah, blah, blah. The only, the only difference is people, somebody like Bill Parcells used to give it right back to him. No, he was an asshole and gave smart ass answer. The class act gives an honest answer. Yeah, yeah he wasn't what, approachable. When you did this, what were you thinking? What do you think I was thinking? Yeah. He was known as a snob. But I heard he, he wasn't approachable. No, he's not. He wasn't. You know, most normal guys are sorry, well, I wasn't happy to be honest with you. I was happy old as hell. It sucks when those kinds of plays occur. Give an honest answer, Jimmy. Yeah. It's that simple. Be a class act. Don't be a smart ass. Anybody can be a smart ass. It doesn't take talent. You know? You know, you know it's you know what's not it? Not, not really rough it. Why do you see some guys who have class and they act and others that are jerk -offs? You see, you never saw Peyton Manning cut you off and say, What do you think I was thinking? Blah, 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 blah. And you see something like, like Bill Bel Belichick. It is what it is. Well, so and, we've got to prepare for next week's game. And what about what about some of the legendary actors at Charlton Heston? And Burt Lancaster, there was never dirt on them. They, they were clean their whole entire careers. Well, yeah, I think. Uh, Kirk Douglas. Uh, 
You don't have the same thing today. No. Well, yeah, what? You're talking about, like, real trained actors that were, like, legends, like... Clint Eastwood, those, those spaghetti westerns, as funny as they were, people they enjoyed. Funny. Well, you know, some of the actors were comical. No, but they were just good, basic western stories. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, it like good. when Clint Eastwood walked into the barbershop, how much for a bath and a shave? That'll be 75 cents. The West is a classic. And it's, it's, uh, to me, it's a, a little bit better than The Godfather for a, a mob movie. It's Once Upon a Time in America. Phenomenal film. Now, and everybody I've told to watch this, you're not kidding. Now, now, now that, that one where he asked for the bath and the shave for 75 cents, was that good, bad, and the ugly, or is that no. a fistful of dollars? It was, uh, or High Plains Drifter? It's either High Plains Drifter or Hang em High. Damn high. Remember in the beginning? Lee, Van, Lee Van Cleef was in a lot of those movies. Not all of them, but he wasn't in that one. And, and the midget was always Mordecai. The guy, the one that filled the bathtub up. Kiss ass. Yeah, like he, they had, he painted the whole town in one I certain color. All <laughs> it's always Mordecai. Poor Mordecai. Hey, talk about something that's not classic. Banquet. I tried their pot pies, uh, the new one, um, sausage and gravy. Oh, that sounds good. It's supposed to be like the southern, you know, with the biscuit. It says deep dish, and it was only like one inch high. And it says, guess what? It, what it says? The crust was made from scratch. How the hell? What does that mean? So they scratched their ass before they made the, you know, made oh, the crust. The bottom line is, who cares? Does yeah, it but, taste good? Yeah, but you saw people's intelligence. But how was it? Was it good? That no, was mediocre. It, was, it wasn't the worst pot pie I've ever had. It wasn't the best. It's, the point is, it's, it wasn't deep dish, and it wasn't. It didn't taste like it was made from scratch. Well, you know. Taste. You know, but it was a dollar, so who am I to complain? You buy three or four, you put them together in a bowl. That's what I did. That's, I, all. that's what I did. That's what I do with some of this stuff. I, Cause, I look at it, I say, this will not be enough. Because mom likes the banquet um, Salisbury steak yeah. with uh, mac and cheese. Well, encore is real good. And she likes, encore is great um, you know, the for a dollar, you know, the banquet meatloaf with mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. they, it's made with real cream. Well, go for the encore. It's made with real cream. You know, six, six Salisbury steaks for it. $2. All these has a huge box of Salisbury steaks for even less than that. Well, but you know, get some bonus. It's only a dollar or so more, maybe. And now every time I ask them, where's my shepherd's pie, they laugh, the managers. They laugh? Yeah, they say it's, it, it's out of season. Season? Well, please. What is it, a lobster? A no. live lobster? Lobster's around all year. Come on, Jimmy. What, what do you mean, out well, of season? Well, when you look at the menu in, in a seafood restaurant it always says season. lobsters um <laughs> price according to the season the well, season it's more expensive certain parts of the year but it's available all year long well it's there's a seasonal we can't get yeah. in the summer or the winter well they're still in the ocean i mean they're still there so what'd you ask them? Maybe you ought to go on the website and contact out his headquarters. Ask them, what is this all about? Yeah, everybody uses the same dumb excuse. But look, if you contact out his headquarters, they might send you some free coupons anyway. In Illinois, yeah. Say more I, sorry. I should do that. I should do I should say, how come I... You, you, do, you do everything else on your fucking computer. Why don't you do that? Why don't you... Why? I don't know, Billy. Well, tell them. And I like this blah 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 you have blah blah blah. They, they look at me funny and tell me it's seasonal. Everything's seasonal. How man. can this be seasonal? Blah blah blah. I'd like to know. Hey, even the stuffed clams can't be seasonal because the clams never leave the ocean. Mate laws? No, this is Sea Queen. Who's that? It's like Mount Laws. Where? Uh, some all these gets like. Oh, he's talking Aldi still. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know what you're talking about. Well, Stop about. and Shop has uh, both, I think. I don't know. They have made all. I know the one with shrimp. That's always real good. Is that very famous company? Cheap. Really I remember good. that. They're very popular. And you know what? Can't beat Mrs. Mrs. Balls and Gordon's. Uh, no, they use the the, the cheap Pollock. Stop it. Yeah, stop cheap it. It's mince. It's stop mince Pollock. It. Stop. I it's get good. solid cod scrub. It's good. It's cod. good. Everybody except you, because you're picky. Everybody I know loves arr, it. Arr. 
They love it. They said that stuff is great. It is great. I want the fruit of the mall. The broth of the sea. I, want. I agree with Warren Buffett. Just eat the crap. Warren Buffett it's like really said a couple years ago when I said I like that that uh, uh, seafood salad. Whatever you do, store. don't mention Velveeta or Cheese Whiz to me. That stuff is garbage. It's toxic. It's Holy toxic. Shit, you're you're wrong. No, it's toxic. No, I don't care. It's good. Eat the crap. Well, it's actually processed. Eat the crap. I don't care. Processed, unprocessed. I eat the crap. Can I, can I see it first? <laughs> <laughs> My friend, my friend Jimmy Madonna over here. Oh, he's overly picky about his food. <laughs> well, that ended up a yes fast, didn't it? That's because it yeses you to death. Am I right when I say that <laughs> I like I'm, I like the, the frozen seafoods, Mrs. Paul's and Gordon's? Pollock is. Is there anything wrong with the seafood product or fish called pollock? Not really. There's something. Really there's something wrong with a lot of bread. You know what this is? What? You don't know jack shit. You know, again, Warren Buffett, just eat the fuck. No, I, what I usually get is the, is the beer battered cod fillets. Eat it all. It's all good. Stop it. It's all good. Well, well, no, no. That statement, you shouldn't make that I'm gonna, statement. I'm gonna ask another question. It's all good. Yeah. You're, how could man God moral say it's, it's all good? good just eat. Oh, you're going by flavor. Yes. Yes. It tastes good. It's you're like, so anti-pollock. When I had seafood salad at the deli and stop and shop years ago, I, I sat, sat. I forget where you and I were. You know that time we had a lobster, and I said, I don't give a rat's fuck. Well, I don't know. Did it's, I say that? Yes, it's pollock, you know. I said, I don't care. It tastes good, and I like it. And you shut right up. There you go. And I just asked about pollock. No, I have, I have eaten the imitation crab meat, but you know what's, you know what's wrong is the time the crow's nest said they advertised lobster bisque, and it was imitation crab meat. Did I just ask? Is Jimmy overly picky? No, what I food? mean is, it's the principle of it. Yeah, false advertising. The principle, but the question. Didn't I just ask? Are Jimmy Madonna overly picky about food? Yes. You want to ask it again? Just bring it again. Does the same thing apply to different types of marijuana joints, or, or that's you know, or there are different like back, back when we were just here in the morning about a week or so ago. Back when we all used to smoke grass a lot, it right. wasn't laced with all these chemicals. That's what's hurting the kids today. It's not pure grass. It's junk. It's cut. They even spike. They even spike the cigarettes. It's not good. You want pure, real grass, Jimmy? Oh yeah. End of argument. You want real grass? I don't want chemicals. I don't want. We smoke what was pure Hawaiian, pure this, and I said oh. you, wrote, you smoked it. You got to. What's the other one? Colombian gold. They said oh, that was one. Yeah. No, 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 but it was grass. It wasn't cut with anything, Jimmy. Yeah. It didn't have chemicals. It wasn't genetically modified Monsanto. No, it was pure grown grass. That's it, was, it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. It was just grass. You smoked and you got high. I mean, you laughed a lot and you got the munchies later. I, I hear people who used to grow it with the plant light in the basement, I hear that was strong. That was potent. What, the light or the... No, the... no, no. People that grew it with the in the basement with the... Uh, Fertilize it and with the lamp over it. You just smoke a lot of grass. No, my I don't want to say it. My sister, my sister did. Did, did. Okay, your sister well, did. Oh, let's arrest her, everybody. No, 1980s. So why did you, you know when they say had it? the big hair, the big hair, you know. She smoked grass. We all did. We still do a lot of it. I don't. It's been a long time for me. Was that song Rock Lobster from the 80s, the B-52s? Yeah, with that guy. Yeah, that's it. Rock Lobster. No, I never knew it had to do with Rock Lobster. No, it was called Rock Lobster. Oh, I never knew that. It was about a freaking Rock Lobster. I never knew that. No, the the music video is funny as hell. Is watching. They had the big blue on hair dudes. No, the way they were dancing and with them. That's their music on the hero. Period. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the Go Go's did some a couple. They were great. The Go Go's vacation. Bangles, bangles were great. Walk like an Anglican. But then there was um, 
uh, Judy Torres. That Who? Judy Torres, the dance club uh, hits. Um, uh, Who? Uh, George, George Lamont uh, Torres. No. Uh, Lizette Melendez. Who are you talking about? I've never heard about these. These are my era. Yeah, I think they call it freestyle. No, they call it stupidity. Today's music. Frank, did, did you did you like old house music? What's old house? Uh, snap! I got the power. I got the power. Oh, uh, African Bombada Planet Rock. Planet, I don't know what you're talking about. Planet Rock. It's um. Party, it goes party people, you know. Um, I have no clue what you're talking about. Well, they were dance club music hits. Oh, EDMs, electronic dance music, yeah. like today's crap, which yeah. is not really music, they say. I thought, I don't think it is. It's, you know, I was all of this I like. You know, Don Cornelius says, I'm sorry, oh, yeah, yeah. I retire, I quit, I just can't, I don't get hip hop. He actually says, I don't get it. I don't want it. Stupid. He don't want to get it. I don't want to get it. You can have it. You can shove it. Not me, of course. You yeah. can shove it. That's not music. I like good old Motown, which is not, which is not. Now it's R and B. It was like it was just soul music. Yeah. It wasn't soul. It wasn't R and B trained. It was soul trained. Yeah. yeah. That's um, what it was. Did Isaac Hayes sing the theme song to Flat to Shaft? He wrote the whole entire score, the whole movie. He wrote the whole movie. Isaac Hayes? Yes. I saw him three times in concert. Richard Roundtree was the actor, I think. Three times I saw Isaac Hayes in concert. Phenomenal. That was phenomenal. a great song, man. Well, the whole album was great. It was phenomenal. Between, my God, between him and Barry White? You kidding? And I told you Barry White pulled me out of my seat. Well, you had that aura. You had that aura about you. Oh. Do. He must have heard your voice. He was singing. Had Jimmy, how could he have heard my voice from the girls he, swooning and yelling? He didn't tell the girls uh, in the background, hey, pipe down, I want to hear this gentleman. Like most people, you saw something in me. Anunnaki. He did. Why me? I was the only one at the entire concert he did that to. Think about that. When Barry White pulled over and shook the now, hand. Billy, back in the 70s, when Billy went to see Barry White live in concert. Back in the 70s, in the 1970s, as opposed to the 1870s, when <clears throat> William H. Morrow III went to see Barry White in concert, and Barry White stopped to shake his hand, did he see something or sense something in William Morrow that he did not sense in anyone else in that stadium or... Yes. Back there the oh my god. You know, I know when we were kids, we we weren't like this. No, we weren't. When we were we were kids. Oh, okay. The millennials. I they said about Barry White? Yeah. You don't shape up. Remember when Mo you know, Mo used two fingers when when he, when when uh, Mo went well, like this, the one where the one guy did this, to Leslie Nielsen, he stopped the girl from clapping, stopped her other hand, another, another hand came out of somewhere. Is that Naked Gun? I think it was Naked Gun. Oh, it, that you know, they were so that? funny. But you know what? He started out as a serious actor. Forbidden right? Planet, all that stuff. Yeah. Remember how he and uh, what's your name, Presley? They practiced safe sex and the foot. <laughs> When they rung up the ladder, he goes, nice beaver. Did she pull a beaver out of the show? <laughs> it's just... Corny, but good humor. I mean, I mean, funny. funny. Yeah. He's talking to the one girl with a nice chest. And he goes, she goes, is this a bus? He goes, it most certainly is, but you're still under arrest, ma'am. You know what? What, um, when Seinfeld took out Don Rickles for coffee before he died. Well, it couldn't have been after he died. Yeah, he's not going to take a corpse, yeah, I mean, a corpse yeah, out yeah, for a corpse. You know. He says, you know what? Comedians like you, you just have conversations with people and they automatically start cracking up. Yeah. All you do is you, you're not even doing shtick. You're not doing jokes. Uh, how are you? And people laugh. And they start laughing because the way... <laughs> I said, oh, it was a friend of mine. He was, he was an odd little guy. I said, you know, Rick is the only guy that can walk into the room 
and everybody will crack up without him opening his mouth. <laughs> Meaning he's so funny to look at. Yeah. This and that without a, oh. Well, Gil Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, he's great. I like him. If 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 uh, Pee Wee if Pee Wee Herman if Pee Wee Herman got well, after he was caught playing with himself. If what Pee Wee did is illegal, I should be on death row. I should be on death row. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's hilarious. It, it is. It is. And it's short. Right to the point. <coughs> Not a long story. You know? uh, then the other one was Yogi Berra, who didn't try to be funny. He said, I'm serious about what I say. It just comes out funny. Hey, even when Jack Benny played Ralph Cramden's cheap landlord, they didn't want to fix anything. One time, it was, it, one episode, I think, only, I it was played that. by That's Jack Benny. Well, there was more than one landlord. This this time was Jack Benny. I don't remember seeing any of the Cramden's landlords. Yeah, I did. They, they were usually... I remember the neighbor, like Mrs. Manicotti. I remember her. Yeah. They were like uh, uh, Abbott and Costello's landlord, Sidney Fields. He was he was a, Mr. Fields didn't want to fix yeah. much, uh, you know. I mean, you know, I saw the Three Stooges in person. We are a steel pier in Atlantic City. Yes, yes. My parents took. Was that Curly Joe Besser or was that uh, the original? I think I had to know. The original died in '52. I was only one year old, so I was about 10, 11. Yeah, down there. So it had to be Shep, maybe. It could have been Shep. You know, Curly Joe was a pain in the ass. He didn't want to get slapped. He wouldn't let Mo slap him around. But he did in all the shows. And then he a... and he played Stinky on. Uh... Oh, that no, that wasn't uh, Curly no. Joe. That was a uh, Joe Besser. Joe Besser. Yeah, that wasn't Curly. It was, there was Joe Besser, and then there was a uh, Marita, Joe Marita. I think. Uh, yeah, Besser was. Joe Besser was on both Abbott Costello and. Yes, and yes. They always wore those little kids' outfits. Come on, what do you get some mad oh, with you? Like a yeah. Oh, like Rip Taylor, remember him? Oh, they were horrible. Oh man, they were awful. You know, it was, you know, it's amazing how Liberace just and Merv Griffin, everybody pretended that they were straight guys back then. Nobody pretended Liberace was straight. Jim, <laughs> stop it right now. No, nobody pretended. Well, nobody, that. nobody ever called him out in public and said, "Jimmy, he didn't hide it." Yeah, you know, oh, I mean, okay. Merv Griffin. He, yeah, he used to go ooh all the time, Merv. Liberace was obviously he lived with his boyfriend, Jimmy. Oh, that's right, Merv had Merv that Griffin, Ava Gabor were like fake best friends. Everybody thought they were. Like, they were like, nah, no, he, was, he was with that Denny Terry of Dance Fever. Yes. Dance Fever. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, all right. Mm. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.